<laughs> hey guys, guess where I am? I am here in the uh, clubhouse of the Phasmophobia ghost hunting team. So, just wanted to show you a little bit of another game that I play when not playing Minecraft. It is a Phasmophobia ghost hunting game. It's pretty good. I'm sure most of you have heard of this game, but just want to show you some gameplay from a ghost hunt. Hopefully it will be scary, so we'll be right back in just a minute after I get the game set up. And we are back, so what I'm doing is we are going to be playing the Tanglewood Street House. I got all my items uh, started up, so let's get started. Alright, so there's nothing else to report. Here we are, we are in the starting area with, um, in the trailer. So I'm just going to open this up. Uh, if I'm playing with a friend, I generally put on head-mounted cameras so then we can see what they're seeing there. But I'm just going to get set up the way I normally do first. I'm only bringing one camera around, much easier to deal with. Uh, right here shows my sanity, my average sanity and what it's currently at, the ghost activity, and then here are my objectives. Number one is always the same, discover what type of ghost we are dealing with. Objective two is have a member of your team escape the ghost during a hunt, which is a harder thing to do now since the game updated. Objective three, detect a ghost presence with a motion sensor, which I believe I did bring... I hope I brought one. Ah, uh, yep, there we go. And, uh, prevent the ghost hunting with the crucifix, and I brought two of them. So hopefully we can do at least one, three, and four. Most likely, I won't want to, um, try and get into it with the ghost, because I'll most likely lose. The name of the ghost is Jerry Anderson. And just a little bit of, uh... Backstory on this photo here. I don't know how much you guys are into the paranormal or anything But apparently this photo that I'm currently looking at is a photo taken from the Amityville house in Long Island, New York during the uh, Ed and Lorraine Warren investigation of the uh, Amityville haunting uh, There was supposedly no one even in the area. They just snapped a picture of there and there happened to be one of the photos of came up with uh, this child looking back. The eyes are what creeped me out the most. But, um, yeah, they say no one was there. Who knows? Um, but I just think that's pretty interesting. And we just need one flashlight. Get the flashlight turned on so we can see. Get that going and we'll go right on in. So the first thing I do is I just walk around with the EMF and I try to find a bone if I can. If it's at all possible. Um, if I can't, I just go on with the objective and try to find where the ghost is hunting. Something new that I just noticed is the green light is blinking a little bit. I haven't noticed that before, so that's a pretty interesting feature. At least... Oh. We found the bone immediately. Good, uh, good job. And you always want to be sure to pick that up. Um, you do try to listen to sounds, and in the past you would be able to see, like, slightly open doors, movement from the ghost. So now I'm just looking for EMF readings that will help give away where the ghost is. You used to be able to, um... See, like, um, movements of doors and tell where, like, the ghost is, but now they can, like, appear anywhere at first, so it's harder to tell where they start off. So I just go around looking for anything. Look for anything that's out of place, things that may have fallen, like, if that cup was off of these things. 
Uh, oh, okay. So I do definitely have an EMF recording. Is it going down here? No, it is not. Nope. And everything looks all right up here. I mean, down here. Oh, huh. here's a door that I never... They changed the door. The door used to be over here. This game just did update the other day. Before I, um... I was going to come on and play for a little bit, but it was updated. And I was just like, you know what? I'm going to go to sleep. So, they changed the door location. It used to be right here where this photo is. So... Lately, I've noticed it's been around in this section, at least, has been haunted. So, with that being said, I'm going to go out to the uh, trailer and see if I can find any more uh, evidence for clues or anything. Alright, guys, the next thing that I tend to look at is how fast my sanity is draining. Um, if it's draining very fast, it means it's probably a more violent ghost. So, I'm going to try and make one more run in here before, um, having to take a, um, sanity pill. So, I'm going to go drop this off, and we're going to go take a look at the camera right after. And we will face the camera about... Right... Here? That should be good. And we'll be right back. Okay, guys. And now it's time to take a look at the camera. We can cycle it using the mouse. And it's already on night vision mode. Because it, I turned it on when I uh, bring it outside. So we look for anything like orbs or anything. Um, it's a little harder to tell sometimes. You have to get it in the right position sometimes to be able to see it. So let's grab something else. See what I sanity is it dropped a little bit so i'm gonna go grab something else to, to just drop off and see if we can pick up some more um evidence so i will meet you in the kitchen please write in the book please write in the book right in the book and I also try to move the camera around if I don't see any evidence um right away or anything like that just try to get a different angle of it and we're gonna go check it be so we'll be right back and so far there's no more evidence of uh orbs but I did drop off a book if the ghost is gonna write in that section it will do it but I'm gonna take another book and drop it off right in there uh my sanity, as you can see, is dropping. Uh, it did drop at least four points. Um, so let's go grab another book. But before we do, we'll take a look at this uh, journal by pressing J. You can take a look at it. You can enter in the evidence on anything that you find. If I get an EMF 5, I can check that off and it narrows down what type of spirit we can be looking for. It tells me which, um, a little bit about each one. Such as if I were to look, want to look up the Banshee. The Banshee's a singing siren known for attracting its victims through song. It has been known to single out its prey before making a killing blow. Strength. Banshees will weaken their target before striking weakness. Banshees can sometimes be heard screaming with a parabolic microphone. So that's a good idea. Uh, let's go check that. And I do have this on now. And we can see if we get any sort of evidence or anything like that with this parabolic microphone. One thing that I did just see is this was opened. So it's obviously a moving ghost. Most likely it's going to be in this hallway. Yeah. So, I'm just going to set this down. Move this, especially since it's moving around. 
Let's see if it's the picture of the door. Since it just moved that, I might be able to get evidence from that. Going to check this. Nope. Can you write in the book, please? Write in the book. So you do actually have to chat in uh, using the chat command in the game and not the microphone command to um, see if the ghost will respond to like write in the book or anything. So far there's nothing. But since it is moving things around, let's check with our UV light and see if we can find any fingerprints. By pressing T, you can turn off the main um, flashlight and take a look around and see if anything's moving. I do try to close doors, especially since it's moving a lot, opening these up, but I am not finding fingerprints anywhere so far. And they will come up green if they do come up at all. Yeah, so far no fingerprints. So, unfortunately that is a bust. But since it is moving around this section a little bit, I am going to place the camera this direction. See if we can pick up anything else. Alright guys, and we are back. Um... I did happen to just uh, take a look at the camera, uh, and if you look to the left, you can see ghost orbs moving. So we're definitely in the right area now. It's in the living room. We have located where the ghost is. So let's go take a look, a further look with fingerprints and put the book down in there and see what we can find. So to first, before we do that, though, we are going to put in evidence and write down ghost orb, and this can be any one of these left. Um, so since we got to make it in there, I'll bring this in and we will talk to the ghost, see if it will respond to anything and narrow, try to narrow it down even more. Where are you? Ow. Oh, that always scared me. So there's another piece of evidence. Since we just heard it talking to us. Ah, that always, poltergeist always scare me, they always do. We got voice, uh, the spirit box is another piece of evidence, and let's just move this over, but right here on the, I have to keep pressing F. I'm used to pressing E. Um, can you write in the book, please? Please write in the book. Give me some evidence. Oh! Oh, man. It wasn't hunting. It was scaring me, but... Oh. Let's go... Write down the uh, evidence. And we can see the activity has gone up to a five. So we got a spirit box, which means it's a mayor yokai on Rio. So the mayor, a mayor is the source of all nightmares, making it most powerful in the dark strength. A mayor will have an increased chance to attack in the dark, a weakness turning on lights around the mayor will lower its chance to attack. Um, yokai on Ryu. So, yokai are common ghosts that are attracted to human voices. They can usually be found hunting family homes. Strength. Talking near yokai will anger it, increasing its chance to attack. Weakness. When hunting a yokai, can only hear voices close to it. And the last one is on Ryu. And on Ryu is a, is often referred to as the wrathful Spirit. They still sold from dying victim body to seek revenge. This ghost has been known to fear any form of fire, 
and will do anything to be far from it. Strength. Extinguishing a flame can cause an Onryo to attack. Weakness. When threatened, this ghost will be less likely to hunt. So, actually, one thing I did miss is the last evidence that I need. So, for it to be an Onryo, we need freezing temperatures. I have not noticed that. One way to check that, to check for that, is um, you'll see your cold breath. If you're in a room long enough, by standing in there, you will see like a white small mist that signals that you have cold breath. For yokai, which is the next one that it might be, we need to get a dodge projector uh, evidence there. And the last one is the mare, which we need a uh, ghost writing. So we already had the book in there. So the only thing I need to bring in now is just the dots projector. And let's try to bring in the motion sensor as well and drop down two crucifixes. So since my sanity is dropping, I will do that. So let's bring in a dot projector and I'll be right back. All right, so we're putting down this. Um, you have to let it appear before you can put it down. Um, so I think the ghost appeared over here. Generally, you want to put it near where the ghost appears. I just happen to be running away when it did show itself. So unfortunately, I'm not 100% certain. But to be checking with dot projector, um, you just need to sit back and see if you see any sort of movement in there. It's going to look like... And if you blink, you can miss it. It's going to look like something white, like an outline going through it. And it is very fast. So... I'm going to go get the other one. Okay. So we're back with the dot projector. And we are going to see if there's any movement anywhere. Honestly, we can rule out freezing temperatures because we've been in here for a while and there has been no freezing temperatures and so far no book writing. But I'm going to just move this book and to just double check it. Alright guys, I'm going to put this motion sensor down over here just see if we get any sort of movement whatsoever. If we happen to cross in front of it, it will light up. That's how we know that the ghost is moving around. And we will stand back and see if we see anything. Unfortunately, it has not tripped the motion sensor yet, but I do need to get two crucifixes down. We do see those ghost orbs over there, so it should be in that direction at least, hopefully. But, since we're here, and since it's safe in here, we can rule out freezing temperatures, which means it's either a mare or a yokai. And I don't think it's writing in the book, which means, oh, it just moved the motion sensor. So it's over by the motion sensor. Uh, let's see how much sanity I have. I have 80. I'd rather not die on this first playthrough with you guys. So that's why I'm being extra careful. We're going to put one of these down. Oh, guys, look, we have ghost writing. If you look right here, we do have some ghost writing, so be sure to take a picture of it. That is evidence. And the reason why I bring two books is so hopefully we can get two pieces of evidence. And that's if we want to stick around. So now we know it's definitely not uh, dots, which I was really looking for. Can you write in the book, please? Write in the book. Say something. Write in the book, please. And since we know what it is, I will not stick around. Uh, we got 
the basic evidence and stuff. Um, so, we happen to find out that it is ghost writing, which means it is the ghost is a mare. So, I'm going to head back into the truck and see you there in a second. Alright guys, I am back. Uh, that is pretty cool. The motion sensor just went off, as you can see what it sounds like from the uh, van here, from the truck. So, I did, I was doing my best to try not to die, if, um, if anything. So let's, uh, once you put in the final evidence and do your selection, you can end the game by closing up the truck and find out what it is. So let's do that and I'll be right back with you in the, um, in the lobby. All right, awesome. So we were right. The, it was a mare, and you always get $10 for each objective you successfully do. Since I only got two of them, I got 10 for those, and I got two photo evidences. The bone evidence, which I picked up because you pick up the bone. There's also some other items you can pick up, such as a voodoo doll and a Ouija board, so be sure to take pictures of those. And apparently there's a mare floating around that will help you figure out where the ghost is. Um, but it will drain your sanit sanity, but I have not seen one of those yet. Um, it's been a while since I played. But yeah, we are correct in uh, our guess, and we got $150 for our ghost hunt to go towards the store. And I gained more experience in this, and even with as much experience as I have, it's still very, uh, still very uh, creepy each time I play. So, I do hope that you enjoyed this uh, game. I just wanted to show you another game that I play. If you're interested in joining me sometimes and even playing yourself with me, I'm more than happy to play with uh, you if you're interested. I do play with a friend named Griever TV. He has a Twitch channel, same name. And uh, he doesn't really stream this when he's playing on Twitch when he's playing Twitch, he dreams other games, but, uh, he does enjoy this, and it is very creepy, so, if you'd like to see more content like this, let me know in the comments below, leave a like, letting me know that you enjoyed this, and subscribe if you haven't subscribed, I know I mainly do Minecraft stuff, and this is a little different, but I just want to give you guys a little bit of an insight of what else I play besides Minecraft. So if you'd like to see more content like this, let me know. I can put on the webcam too, so then you can see my reaction, especially when I jumped right there, because I do it every time. Just let me know if you'd like the webcam footage as well. So, until the next one, bye.